on all these videos about hearing aids and cochlear implants, what about those who are not there yet, who don't use hearing aids yet, but, you know, have some issues? Um, so, you know, and in general, maybe for those who have just started wearing hearing aids, I have some tips here that will assist you in terms of um, taking care of your hearing in general. So if you have hearing aids uh, or cochlear implants and you're new to them, just remember to take uh, breaks, you know, for 30 minutes, an hour, and then put your apparatuses back in. <laughs> Practice listening. Go outside, see what you can hear. You know, the brain needs stimulation. So going outside and listening to the radio if you can and listening to storms. I love storms. <laughs> so <laughs> listening to those sounds. The brain needs that. Avoid loud noises when, when possible. You know, um, if you work in a factory or, you know, you're in a crowd, um, you know, take breaks if you're in a conference and there's a lot of people there, uh, take breaks because that's going to exhaust you. Quit smoking, you know, that, that will always come up with your doctor if you're still smoking <laughs> because smoking does have an impact on hearing. So you want to uh, reduce it or start practicing the, you know, not, not smoke. Avoid inserting <laughs> objects in your ear, and I am guilty of that one. So, you know, I like my ears to be clean, so, but, you know, the recommendations from the audiologist is not to do that. If you have a lot of wax or have uh, issues with wax, or, you know, you have, you feel like something's in there, you know, best to see an ENT doctor and, and get it checked. Um, I am one that <laughs> I'm desperate to get the wax out, and, and I do need to go to an ENT. Uh, we have a nurse practitioner in our clinic, and so she checks them for me and cleans them out so I don't fool around with them. <laughs> Keep up with the hearing test at least once a year. And this includes everyone. If you don't have hearing aids, you know, even if you don't, you know, get your hearing checked once a year, just like we do for our eyes. We get them checked once a year. For those of us who have uh, hearing aids or cochlear implants, same thing. I know people who get cochlear implants, you know, they do really well, and then they don't go back <laughs> for any checks whatsoever. So that's really important to get your, um, your even, even if you have cochlear implants and you're doing well or you have hearing aids and you're doing well, go back at least once a month to see your audiologist because that's really critical to see really how you're doing. Stress, um, you know, the curious thing about this is that stress will impact your hearing. If you have, if you don't have hearing aids or you do have hearing aids or cochlear implants, stress will really, really hit your hearing. So just know that, that you know, high emotions, high negative emotions will reduce your hearing. So it's really important for us to maintain our behavior health as well. You know, for any kind of disability, stress will impact us. Stress impacts me horribly, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have to be loosey-goosey <laughs> most of the time. But um, the stress, is, you know, we all have stress. But when it's continuous and it's problematic, you really want to work on, on bringing that down. Keep your ears dry. Make sure you dry them after the shower. So. When we go swimming or we are in the shower or whatever, make sure that they're, they're dry after afterwards. Uh, because otherwise, you know, it happens with me that sometimes I get a swamp in there and then I have to go in <laughs> for my nurse practitioner to clean things out. So, <laughs> so yeah, you want to make sure that they are dry. 
get any tinnitus reviewed and treated. So that's really important, you know. <laughs> there's all kinds of crazy information on, on the internet about tinnitus. And um, it says, you know, take this and I'll cure it, or take that and I'll cure it, or do this and it'll, you know, cure it. And it <laughs> just, whoa, people, whoa. <laughs> so there's all kinds of crazy information out there in regards to tinnitus. And tinnitus is caused, one of, the, one of the things that triggers tinnitus is hearing loss because the brain all of a sudden says, oh, I'm not getting sound. You know, what's going on here? So it, the brain starts producing its own sound. It's crazy, I know, but it'll do that whether it's high pitched or low pitched or, you know, mine imitates noises out there. So <laughs> if I hear a cricket, mm, my tinnitus will start imitating that cricket. I know it sounds crazy, uh, but it, it, it does. So if you have tinnitus and you don't have hearing aids, that might be a sign that you, you, you either have very high exposure to noise or you're coming down with hearing loss or something else is going on. You could have an infection. You could have uh, impacted wax. So that tinnitus is really a sign for you to, hmm, I need to go get checked. So there isn't quite a cure for tinnitus, but there is therapies for tinnitus. So just don't believe all the hubbubaloo about tinnitus and cures here, cures there. You really need to find out what's causing the tinnitus. <laughs> so, you know, because it could be a, a different variety of things. So um, it's it's important to get it to get it reviewed and see what what might be causing it, and you know you might have an infection, you might have impacted wax, you might have, so it's good to get it checked and not jump into uh, the um, the snake oil cures. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful with those, or you know. The cure for hearing loss, <laughs> the magical cure for, you know, just, just move on, people. <laughs> Follow the science, okay? <laughs> Follow the science and make sure you don't cause any more damage to your hearing. Anyway, these are the, li the, the lists that I had here for taking care of your hearing because it is precious and you don't want to damage it beyond repair. Um, you know, there are cochlear implants, but you know, if we can avoid having cochlear implants, the better. So um, cochlear implants are great, they're fantastic, but it does require surgery and then it requires rehab. So <laughs> it's a lot of work. But um, those of us who have cochlear implants, we're enjoying them and they're great, fantastic. Uh, I know that people, once they get their cochlear implants and they're doing really well, they poof, they disappear because <laughs> they've gone back to life. So, <laughs> so, you know, that's how good cochlear implants are. But you want to avoid them because <laughs> it is a hassle. It is a, a process in which you have to go, you know, do surgery, then the rehab, then all that kind of stuff and more rehab. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is the list I had. If you have any other things that are important to you in regards to hearing health and taking care of your hearing, feel free to, to uh, post them down below. All right, folks, keep on hearing, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.